What do you do if you want to make your prints more exciting? You start off with a simple collagraph blade. You end up with a black and white print. How do you take it further? What do you do with it to make it more exciting? In this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to create these cool little abstract pieces. Stay tuned and we will play with some collage paper, with some acrylic paints, and I will show you a whole new world of doing some fun abstract collar graphs. So first of all, I want to show you, I have a whole folder full of collage papers and I use some tissue papers and I have various tissue papers. Uh, I use deli paper or I use just sort of very thin tissue paper. Deli paper is not 100% um, transparent. So if you do work with deli paper, you will get, I'll show you in one of these, it's not 100% transparent. So you won't quite see through uh, behind it. Um, the other sort of tissue papers are not wet strength, but I find it's actually okay. It um, still works. You just have to be really gentle with it. So I have this incredible folder full of these sort of tissue papers. And they normally come from, um, it could be just a palette. So for example, I had a palette here that I just used for my paints, acrylic paints. And I simply just use it to, I will cut it out and I will use it as collage paper. I also clean my rollers. Um, so for example, this one is a just cleaned rollers after printmaking. Um, so this is really, really amazing piece of collage paper. I also did a bit of jelly printing uh, from a jelly plate and I have loads of these. So basically I have this folder which is actually colour coded. All my um, collage papers are colour coded. I have some um, chincolet paper as well. I use a, as I use as collage paper. Um, so I've, I collect these. I don't ever waste anything. And um, I will use these in this video to show you how you can make your prints more exciting. So first of all, I'm, I'm grabbing one of my um, lovely collage papers and here are my prints that I made in, um, in another video, a link here to find out how to make them. And the best way to do these collage papers, I would highly recommend is to wet them first. Basically have a little water basin nearby or a little box, um, Tupperware dish of water and just soak them. It just stops them from crinkling. Um, and I'm using matte medium, acrylic matte medium, and applying the medium on both sides of the collage paper on the side you stick, stick onto the print as well as on top and you kind of smooth it all out. So um, this is a part, a piece of palette. So um, as you can see, some tissue papers are more transparent than others. I love the more transparent ones, which are not always wet strength. Uh, so they're super fragile, but actually I don't mind that at all. I just, I'm just super gentle with them. Even if I wet them, they can tear a little bit, but um, most of the time it seems to be okay. As you can see, these are all not wet strength um, and that works out absolutely fine. Um, I love this one. I think this one is one of my favorite. Um, but what I love about this is you just sort of glue it down and you can see what's going on underneath. So you can end up with some very interesting effects. And I'm kind of at the moment not really thinking too much about this. I'm sort of just going going with it and sticking on some... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping with the same kind of color scheme in general. One of them is just a little bit different. It's, it's got blues in it. But all the others are warm sort of orange and yellows. Uh, it's just what I have in my collage box. Um, and you can sort of um, smooth it out a little bit with a spatula or um, um, color shape it. <clears throat> so here I'm just going to add a bit of um, acrylic black ink. And I'm just doing that just to add a little bit more contrast. Um, 
so just sort of um, again using here a spatula to um, just um, give it a bit of shape and um, different tones it gives me sort of ni nice texture when I do that and uh, nice sharp edges um, as opposed to just using a, a paintbrush um, so here I'm just um, it feels like I'm kind of ruining my print here because I'm going over the design a bit, but um, it, you know, uh, I guess I'm just thinking, well, if I ruin it, I can just print another one. I've still got my plate and I can just plate with more. Great thing about it is that um, I just want to feel free to do whatever. And some of them might not work out, but uh, some of them might end up not even seeing the, the, the original print underneath, but it would be nice to sort of preserve some of it, so it kind of pokes through. Um, but yeah, um, so this, this sort of mixture of ink with original print underneath and the collage is a really wonderful mix of um, different textures, different colors and different styles so I'm going to I'm using here just uh, some golden acrylic paint and a palette knife and a golden acrylic paint of white um, which is the non-transparent white and uh, I'm uh, adding a bit of um, golden fluid quinacridone nicolazo gold so um, titanium white with that uh, Nicolazzo gold is a really nice mixture to sort of um, tone down the whiteness of the white. Um, so in some cases I'm applying it with palette knife, in some cases with a brush. A nice thing about palette knife is you sharp edges with the brush you get some sort of um, like see-through texture and um, yeah, some bits are sort of poking through a little bit and the brush strokes obviously look really interesting. And uh, I'm just adding um, some mark making here um, just to um, create uh, a, a different um, um, layer of texture and um, interest in a design. Um, <clears throat> so again here, there's not really much thought going into it yet I'm sort of mark making and adding um, different layers so um, adding layers is quite fun because uh, it, you never know what you will end up with I quite like brush strokes in this one here um, and uh, in this video I sort of show you as far as it goes with with the mark making and this um, white paint. Um, after filming this, I sort of went a little bit further. Oh, I like that uh, stroke there. It's really nice, actually jelly uh, print um, shaping tool, color and mark making tool. And here I'm just sort of adding a little bit of marker just to add some kind of contrast and pattern that is going to show through and a little bit more um, darker sort of tone uh, as the plate printed quite light so here i from on the left this is how what, what i film but on the right uh, i go a bit further and add some more collage papers um just developed it further some more mark making and um making more sort of layers to it but you can just go as far as you want you can stop or you can take it further you know sometimes less is more but I got a little bit carried away and I felt like I needed to add some more uh, design to it um, but yeah um, feel free to experiment I guess uh, it's always fun and you never know what you might come up with these little works are very small uh, but you can always scale it up and if you're really really happy with a design make it into a bigger artwork um, hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching and hopefully see you at the next video